Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter, and welcome you to second round coverage of the 40s 90s tournament from Atlanta, August 22 at East Lake. Marco Mira leads with a 600 par with Colin Montgomery, Ellsworth Flines, Fred Couples, and Ted Schreiber at 400 par. We have a normal course standard with calm winds, and we are going to look at the group for one David Duvall, who took second place last time, but because Duvall... Well, Duvall took second place. We will keep an eye on him second month, but virtually he is close near to the, to the end of this round. Shelby May Shelly Mayfield is looking good. David Sloan the third trying to get him. So our first clubhouse leader is Rock Immediate, but let's see what Pete Cooper does. Cooper will be at come on. A minute a sixty-eight. So Pete Cooper's at five hundred par through two rounds. Rock immediate minus three. So oh there's Jerry Barber. He's catching up. Well, David Sullivan third at 300 par. Oh, Dave Douglas Eagles. We stopped the coverage. Douglas. Dean Douglas. Can Jerry Barber do it? Or Shelly Mayfield? Will Mayfield take the lead here? Yeah, a 565 for Shelly Mayfield. He's looking good. Ramirez well, starting his round right now with Jerry Barber. About to finish his round, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, Jerry Barber is trying to catch up. Ted Triba, triple bogey. Well, he is just getting worse and worse and worse. Jerry Barber, can he tie Mayfield? The answer is no. So Barber is second place right now in the club belts. Marco Mira, not doing the smartest thing. The layman, or Corey Pavin, can he make a charge? The answer is. No, he'll end at 500 par through two rounds. There's David Duvall. You can kind of see him. There he is. The fall minus three. Also, Fines has Eagles on nine, so he's not got the lead. Well, he's tied. Marco Mira has fallen flat, so it's Montgomery.
Now the wind's picked up. Those were fines trying to catch up with Mayfield. The ball has to come up sometime. Oh, he's near the end. Tyrese. And look at all these minus fours and threes. Will Fines have the lead? Oh, we'll have to find out. Here's the ball. Forsman and Bessler. Give me the ball up the middle. Okay, I think we're going inside, but he's going to be very late. Please, yes. Good job for Forsman. Good job for Forsman. Right down the middle. Not bad. Good job for Bessler. Way off. Way, way off, man. Going to the pin this first time. No. The ball? No. Bassler. Well, to pitch it up and. Oh, he's on the green. Somehow he's on the green, even though he had the worst shot. Kind of. Forsman. Okay. And now the ball. Okay. This is for Birdie. Nope. Those are for part. This one? I think one of these are the muscle. Oh. It's a I believe in miracles. Horseman. And now we got Tassler. Way up. The ball says I might as well play, but I'll lag it. Yeah, you're at 300 par. You might as well. Tassler? Chasing. Horseman. Got it. He's up to the par. The ball for par. Yikes. Nice little par. Got it. And we go to hold him and him. Ready a boogie and a par. Now, where are we going here? Okay, third shot. Third. Oh, for his name. She couldn't do that. Oh my gosh, he couldn't do that. And so right now, as we find that 800 par leads with Shelly Mack, we feel that 700 par. Fred Hawkins is trying to catch up. He's on the course 600 through 11. Colin Montgomery's picked up a little bit. Marco Mira, not a good round after the first round. He had a 1 over par 71 today. Let's see what Hawkins can do. Hawkins will par. Okay. He's still close to fines for the lead. Here's the ball. Fuck. Right in the middle. Oh, that's a better way. Left, right, and center. Nope. Kessler. Nope. The ball. Now, Forsman. 
horsemen. I'll get some shots. Now, Bassler. Oh, oh Bassler has pulled it out. This is for Birdie. Overshot it. The ball? Okay, I think Cars must be in horsemen. And Bassler? I'll get Cars. So, on to the next one. So, the late. Okay, that's much better than the third one. Two, three. And um, that's all. Right down the pipe. Two, fifty-four. Horseman, second shot. Ah, uh, buck that. Good ball. Oh, keep going. Oh, that works. Good, that works very, very good. Bassler. Bassler. Horseman, is he there? Oh, he almost got it. It's a velvet bird. Oh, he slid it. Hell par. It slid, it slid. Yes. 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 All the parts. Now. Guess what that is? Six. Oh, okay. At least he didn't go in the water. Horseman. Oh, okay. He's not in there. That's better than nothing. Bassler. Bassler will come close to it and come really close. Horseman will pitch it. Okay. Now the ball for Birdie. At three under, I would like. Yeah. There's moon overshot it. How? Bassler, car. The ball, car. Horseman must be pissed off at himself. Look at that bogey. Well, right now, Hawkins has a minus six. He's got fines at eight under par. Bayfield, Jerry Farber. If Hawkins can just come close to it. John Houston's making it a charge. Steve Pate and Flory Von Donk. Hawkins is minus six. Well, we have Birdie, so Hawkins is trying to chase things down. The ball. The ball right in the middle, and you catch it. Remember, it's up 70 in ties. We will into the weekend. Where's my. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. I thought he was going to hit that bunker. Horseman. Trying to get a little aggressive. Over the bunker. Bassler at least didn't hit the bunker. Got to flip it up. Fuck. Well, maybe it might work for Bassler. Maybe it will. The ball out of the bunker. That's a good shot. That's going to be an easy par. Horseman. What the hell was that? He needs it for par. Oh. Well, Bogey's not going to do it. Even par by nine. Huh? Face it. He puts it in, and the ball is going to do something. Yeah. That's what happens. The ball is still at three under par. Will it be good? That's a good shot. He's only 120 away. Bassler. Way off, way off. Oof. Enforcement. Going left to right. Look, he hit that bunker. Bassler will probably hit that big bunker. Yep. Enforcement has to get aggressive. Wow. Okay. David Dufault. Horseman. Horseman on the green. Basler. Loved it. 
that was close. This is revert. Oh man, and he overshot it. Man, the ball. We could have had a great chance. That's what I'm going to call it. The gas is going to try to chase for that. Make cut. Knife hole is a part five in Memory Circle, right? Yep. He's not going to fall. He's not going to fall. Oh. He's like, where are we? He's a five. Oh, a little left. Horseman and Bassler. That's way left. Ay, ay. Bassler's going to try. Not to be said that he might as well try. I mean, Horseman? That's not bad. Remember, it's a part five, so he's got a nice chip shot. Forsman wants to get on the green, which he will not. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I say Forsman? I apologize. It's a ball. Second shot. Ooh. But you know what? That's okay. That was a second. It's part five. Let's get close for 40. Yep. That's a second. Forsman for par. Oh! Oh my gosh, he almost pulled it. So Forsman will have a Boy, for sure. And Bassler will have a shit performance, but it'll be a par. This is for Bert. Yes, sir. He goes, got it. Bassler for par. Horseman is up to 30. So, nice job of Duval. He's now tied for 10th, kind of. All right. So, Fines is at 800 par. My Mayfield's minus 7. Fred Hawkins and me birdies. It's a, set, a 600 par round, and he ties for the lead. Did he do it? Hawkins did not. He pars. But minus six. Well, he bogey, so he's at minus six. Okay, that's not that bad. David Duval for under par. He looks like he's going to be probably back nine shenanigans. He'll be safe. Horseman will have to put to the best. Basler. Basler will really need a couple of 40 in the back nine and no flip ups. No shots. Horseman. Okay. Bassler. Duval. Nothing. Bassler will take a big shot here. Horseman. And Duval. Duval. Okay. So these guys will have tough car shots. Horseman? Nope. That isn't good. Just not good. Horseman? Okay. The ball? Woo! Cat. Cat. Next shot is David DeBell. R3. That went out of work. Bosler went to the right. Come on, go center. No, they go left. I'm going to hope for one going left, one going right, one going center. The ball, okay, that's my flag. Par. Basler. Okay, he's close. And now, Forsman says, I better putt. And he overshot it by a little bit. But he gets back to par, okay, what do you do? Basler, yes. The ball. Well, par's for all. I'll put the back, Mark Charles with Becky at 500 par front nine, so he's aiming to chase. I believe Calco Becky was a runner up, wasn't he? Yes, he was. In March, he was the runner up in at the, the, uh, no, at Sawgrass. So he's chasing. He's the ball. I mean, a second, a second runner up finish by actually. Get one of those spots. I think we'll probably do that because of how many golfers are in 140. I'm getting two runner up finishes. We'll just make that one of the wild cards and all that. And then he doesn't have to worry. Horseman. Horseman. Nice shot. Basler. Over the bunker. And through the woods. Not even close. Duval. Second shot. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That's the mark of a great golfer. Here's a birdie. Basler missed, but don't worry about it. Horseman! Oh man, he was really short. 
You do that, you really need to go for dirty. Oh my goodness, how do you do that? That is a brutal mistake by Duvall. I think it been tough. That was an easy birdie shot. Marco Quebec is at seven under par, chasing fines in Mayfield. You got Barber and Hawkins. You got John Houston at four under par, still on the well on the course, and so is Herman Barron. Well, Quebec, yeah, dropped the stroke. Ooh, boy. So the back nine's not a good start for him. Duvall. Okay. I thought he was headed straight for the bunker. Right away for Basler, Sportsman. I think Basler, Sportsman needs like a 30 or two. Okay for the bunker. The ball. Bunker. Basler. Bunker. He almost got out of it. Sportsman. Oh, fuck. The ball. Way off. Jesus, David. Basler. Ow. That was way off. Basler coming back. Hey. Forsman. Okay. Can I go back? 31 foot for par. Not going to get it. He'll get a bogey. Back down to 300 par. Forsman for bogey. Can't hit that. So I think his chances of qualifying. Perfect smoke, Basler. Yeah, his chances are up in smoke too. If my guess is right, Duvall's dropped a 300 par. Wish he was that good. Here's David Duvall. Oh, fuck off. Like, why? You were doing so well. And Basler a little left, but not too far left. And the winner, ah, too far right. Jeez. He's got to get out of the mess. The ball. Oh, beautiful. Well, you knew what I was doing. All right. I apologize, the ball. You knew what you were doing. Uh oh, sportsman. Well, if that doesn't end your, your weekend, Basler will be close for par. Sportsman. This is for Bogey. Well, they shot. There you go. See how easy that was? So the ball's back up there. Of course, Saturday we will have live coach from the 18th hole. Every um, pairing on the 18th hole, because it's a part three. And then we will have Sunday, we'll have the final two, like the last. last Pairing. Oh, dear God. At least it's a part five. But still, get in the fairway, you have a better chance to make a chance for birdie. Forsman? Oof. Okay, one to the right, one to the center, and one to the left. Well, this will be a tough second shot for Basler. Okay, he'll have to go across wind. Forsman. Is he on the green? I think he is, so he'll have an eagle putt. The ball doesn't have much choice. He'll have to let up, lay up, and hope for the best with his third. I think that's good. I think that's really good. And now, Bassler. Ooh, well, you got to have the bunker. This is for Eagle. Nope, but he's got an easy birdie. Bassler. No, yo, shot. The ball. There you go. There you go, man. Forceman better make the shot. Yes, he does. So I don't think this is going to help him. Back to summary. So, Fines in Lee Mayfield, 700 Barber and Hawkins, 600 par. Um, David Duvall, 500 par. He's tied for fifth. Mark Alcovecchia, Herman Barron, Johnny Bola. Can Bola get the 500 par? The answer is no. So, David Duvall looking good in the back nine. He'll qualify Forsman. I have my doubts. He'll qualify for the weekend. Forsman! And that's probably going to be the icing on the cake. Basler is just playing for fun. That's a nice drive. That's on the fairway. 343. 147 to the pin. There's Forsman. He'll play that. He'll have a tough shot. The ball. Way off. 
boy, you could have knocked a little bit of wind off. That's You could have done the The ball really misplayed that one. But you know what? He's close for a par. No big deal. Basler really wants this. And he overshot it. Sportsman wants a birdie. He figures he needs the birdies. Now he finds the birdies. So he'll get a par. No, I'll get par. So, no big deal. On to 17. My people said this is not easy. As long as you don't go left. Okay, first one. That's not bad. At least it wasn't wet. And Basler, oh, second shot. For Forsman, he won't hit the bunker. The ball. Oh, he's going back. He's going back, sure. And Basler. So, Forsman up and over. Up and over. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, that would have been amazing. Basler, where was that? Who was that? The ball for Birdie. Oh yes! You know what I'm saying? David Devon proving me wrong on a lot of different moments. He is done. He is a guy who should be feared. Minus six, part three, eight, team. Ooh, is he in the sand? Yes, he is. Forceman? Basler. So one went left, one went right, one went Sotra. Basler trying to get close for a par putt. Yes, he's done. So his turn will be done, I believe. Forceman. Yeah, I think Forceman kind of might be on kind of the. the oh, Devolve. How did you fuck that up? Because he'll have to lose the birdie on. 17, and we got the bogey. Forceman for power, and Basel for power. That's it. Two minus five. There's still some left. The cut line right now is at plus one, so yeah. Not good for, um, why am I blanking on his name? I just stuck. We just played. Dan Forceman. I feel so bad for Forceman, because He's one stroke behind the cut line at plus one. That's a lot of golfers. Plus one is the cut. Will Forceman make it? Probably not. And no, he won't. So Forceman, they saw him playing. He will be one short. Claude Harmon was at three under par, but he had a five over 75. He fucked up. Jim Ferry, not a good round. John Daly. Dolby Wardrobe, Chandler Harper, Don Fairfield, Brad, Brad Bryant, Dan Forsman, and Paul Stankowski were all in decent positions. Now they're not going to make it. Sam Snead, four under par, and he misses by a stroke. But he won. He's technically in Augusta, so he doesn't need to worry about that. Well, people like Jim McGovern and Bob Hamilton will get lucky. Hamilton was one of the first winners. On the other side of the coin, Fulton Alum of South Africa. It's the worst. Mark McNulty and Mark Brooks, all at 10 under par. David Faraday struggled in this tournament. But now the leaderboard. At the top of the leaderboard is Ellsworth Fines, minus 8 with a 66. is back. Second straight 66. Shelly Mayfield had a 5 under 65. He's second. Tied for third are Jerry Barber and Fred Hawkins at 6 under par. David DePaul, as you saw, he had a 2 under par round. He's tied with Colin Montgomery, Marco Mira, Pete Cooper, and Corey Pavin at 5 under par. And tied for 10th, Jim Gallagher, Michael Bradley, Steve Pate, John Houston, Mark Helkovecchia, Byron and Byron Nelson. The legend, Byron Nelson. So the next round happens. So we have... How many groups do we have? We have uh, how many groups? We have 38 groups. So we have 37 and a half. So we have 75 golfers. Top 70. So we have 75 plus one was the mark you needed to get. And we will see everyone on the 18th hole as the feature hole. That's all we got for today. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.